Play Nathan Barley was, uh, you know, a real highlight of my career, I would say. Because he was just, you know, whenever you play someone like that, an idiot, who's, you know, he's a big character, he's, um, you know, he's sort of, he's indefatigable, he can't, he can't be defeated. Um, it's just, it's just so much fun. Fucking hell. We spent so much time researching him and and the world of of you know of where he comes from, which was basically around here, Shoreditch, Hoxton, East London. I think people now assume if you live in Shoreditch, Hoxton, you are a type of person, and I think I, I think Nathan has probably contributed to that. Yeah, I know all this. I think that that the internet and social media have absolutely. Um, facilitated the um, the rise of the idiots. You know, it, it's kind of like whoever makes the loudest noise, you know, will get noticed. And it doesn't really matter what the noise is about. I can remember a producer saying to me uh, on another show, he said, you know, it will date terribly. He said it will absolutely, it, you know, in 10 years, no one will remember it, no one will know it because it will just be seen as this weird, you know, uh, weird sort of tiny part of society that doesn't exist anymore. And actually, I think, you know, that's been proved completely wrong. I mean, I, I, I always wondered if he might have gone down the Doug Rocket path of setting up a sort of creative hub where, um, where people can just come and create. And... Um, and, and that sort of thing would definitely be something he'd like. He would have such a big web presence. He would be on every platform with, with millions of followers in, in every format. And, that, and followers would be absolutely so important to him to get out to as many people as possible. Bored. These creative industries, be it, you know, even things like, you know, fine art or advertising or whatever it may be, you know, they're full of very hugely talented people with great amounts of flair. Nostalgia, yeah. <laughs> the, the other positive about Nathan is that, you know, he doesn't really give up and, um, and, and he's sort of indomitable. You know, you can kind of throw a lot of shit at him and, and he will be impervious to it. How do you, how do you defeat this man? You just can't. And, um, and that's a very good quality to have and I'm sure it's a very good quality to have in, in any industry especially creative. You should bring back the show now. Wash your fuck out, new front. <laughs>